logical and physical information security strategy architectures. Physical architecture, physical layout, where your building's located, not on an earthquake fault, not in a hurricane zone, not some not right on top of old faithful at Yellowstone waiting for a super geyser to explode. Those are all bad places. Facility features such as what it's built out of in California. You don't build out of brick because it's going to fall in the East Coast. You don't build out of wood because of winters that are going to rot the wood, cause damage. You build out of brick there and hope you don't have an earthquake like they had in D.C. a few years back. Physical security controls where you put your network cables in a wiring closet, keeping it safe. You don't put it out where people can cut them. And if you're running cables vertically, you make sure you have cables that are meant for vertical runs. Otherwise, they stretch and tend to go bad and become less immune to EMI, RFI. Got good door locks and the right type of door locks. Electronic cipher locks are really fantastic, especially for your server room. Got one on my front door because I don't have to worry about kids losing keys. You know, they lose keys twice. The cost of replacing locks is the same as a decent cipher lock. Fences, good security fences are at least eight foot tall. And we look at high security fences, eight foot tall, two foot out slant, barbed or razor wire. Walls, 10 foot tall, solid brick or concrete with reinforced steel bars. Maybe nice little spikes on top if you want high security. Security doors should resist forcible entry. At least three sealed, three hinges mounted all the way to the studs in the door frame. Dead bolts. We want to make sure they can't kick it in. Solid core, metal plated. Redundant systems, alarms, networking, got to have all that. Logical refers to the processes, how you do th things, procedures, guidelines, software controls. You need to make sure processes are followed. This is the main purpose of this exam, is monitoring these processes with IT and making sure IT is aligned to them. So secure dis destruction of documents, make sure they're shredded. Have policies in place to make sure those documents are pulled aside for shredding. Have locked shred bins. Make sure bins are collected by a qualified organization that's going to hopefully shred them on site before they drive off or shred them yourself. Network access restrictions, permission structures, principle of least privilege, and then the separation of duties as well so no one does the process from beginning to end all by themselves. And if something's going wrong, you want to know about it as soon as possible. You don't want to find out about it next week after you've turned out 20,000 boxes of cereal with rat poison in them. You want to find out when that first box is made with rat poison so you can pull it off the line, stop the line, and fix the problem. You don't want to be doing a mammoth recall with a whole bunch of dead kids foaming at the mouth. That's not good for your public image. So report things immediately, know what's happening, so you're never caught by surprise.